Since Fred Anderson's death more than a year ago, the Washington County Quorum Court has not had a Justice of the Peace representing the 4th District. That encompasses downtown Springdale. KNWA's Casey Smith joins us in studio now. Casey, you spoke with a current Justice of the Peace and a District 4 resident about this issue. So what do they have to say? Yeah, Chelsea. District 11 Justice of the Peace Suki Hires sees this as an issue of residents not having representation on how their tax dollars are spent. And while one resident would like to see the seat filled, he thinks the problem would be, a far, be far worse for a smaller community. The District 4 Washington County Quorum Court seat has been vacant for more than one year after former Justice of the Peace Fred Anderson passed away in March of 2023. I feel like it's a really important thing uh, because you have a whole group of people in Springdale who are without representation in their county government. Suki Hires is the District 11 Justice of the Peace in Washington County. She says there are repercussions of not having representation on the quorum court. I think the most important thing to the citizens is probably how we're spending their tax dollars. Um, and so without that voice, you know, they're paying the taxes, but they are not being represented. I think we fought a war over that once. But what does a justice of the peace do? Quorum court is the legislative body of the county. Uh, their main mission is, of course, fiscal responsibility, and they set the budget. They also help us set policy throughout the county. Judge Patrick Deacon says it is Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders' job to fill the vacant seat. We can put up suggestions, we can give recommendations, but eventually that is ultimately up to the governor's office to appoint that position. I'm not sure that it should be filled by an appointment because that gets political rather than then the people really don't have uh, a say in it. Bob Hand lives in District 4. While he would like to see the seat filled, he says not having a representative for a city as big as Springdale may not be as bad as if it were for a smaller community in the county. Uh, they pay their taxes too. People that, that have all the money think that all the tax dollars should be spent on them and that's just not it's not right. As for the quorum court's policy votes, some have a direct impact on its citizens. We just recently had a um, ordinance that was up that had a very big impact on Marshallese and Springdale families. But hires emphasize that no one was there to vote on downtown Springdale residents' behalf. We reached out to the governor's office for comment on this story, but haven't heard back yet. If you're interested in applying to fill the vacant district of Justice of the Peace seat, we'll have a link to that application on our website at knwa.com. Reporting in studio, Casey Smith, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.